Welcome to Excel Metric number 813. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, click on the link below the video. In this video, we want to see how to compare list one on this sheet with list two and extract all the items that are in list two that are not over here onto a third sheet. So what I've done is I've inserted a, a column to the left of this uh, list two. And I need to build a formula. I need an indicator here that says, hey, that item is not over in this list. So you can see rad one is over here. And actually, caps don't matter, but I'm going to keep it simple here. A big R is equivalent to a, a small r. But so this one you can clearly see is over there. One of the other six. So seven, let's see. So seven is here, but not over in list one. And that's where we need to have an indicator here. Now we're adding this extra column here to indicate when a particular record is not over there. That'll help us when we go to extract them onto a third sheet. Now we're going to use the match function. The match function is a type of lookup function. But the match function, we could say, hey, match, please go look up rad. There's the lookup value, comma. And the place we want to look it up is in the range over on this sheet. So I have to insert a sheet reference here. So I click on list one. I highlight this whole range. Notice up here, we can see our formulas start to emerge. There's a sheet. The sheet name, there's list one you could see there, and it's up there. That explanation point means this is a sheet reference. A2 to A15, now I'm going to copy this formula down, so I need to lock that. So I hit the F4 key, and you see, see that it's locked. Now I'm going to click up here, and comma, and the match type is exact match. So I'm going to put a 0. Close parentheses, and then I hit Enter. Now right now, that gives me what? one. Well, what match does is it tells you the position, the ordinal or relative position of this item in that list over there. But watch what I do. I'm going to double click and send this down. For uh, rad 7, that's not in the list, so it's just not available. Boom, there's our trigger. Now I'm going to wrap around match an is an A. What's so cool about is an A is it's exactly what we want. Is this an NA? It'll say true. Control Enter, and double click and send it down. Now, the problem with extracting records when you have duplicates, because in this, in essence, is going to be our lookup column. We are going to look up all of these trues. But we have duplicates, and the lookup functions don't handle duplicates. Now, I want to avoid a big array formula, so I'm going to do a little trick here. Every time I have a true, that really is equivalent to 1. And when I get down here to this true, I want it to look up there and add and get 2. So we're going to put this inside the sum function. We're going to say, hey, sum function, add that. I'm going to come to the end and type a comma and add one cell above. Now, that's a relative cell reference, so it will always look above. Now, the reason we're using the sum function instead of the plus is because right now that is text. And if we use the plus symbol, we get an error, a value error. Now, what does this do? Zero, because there's no trues. But when I double click and send this down, now we have this. Notice, yeah, we have all these duplicate ones, but lookup functions. Uh, only find the first item when there's duplicates. So on this other sheet, sheet 3, if we say look up 1, 2, 3, it'll find exactly the records that, that's in this list that's not over in list 1. So I come over here. Now I'm going to insert a column here. Right click Insert. I'm going to put number. How about 1, 2? And I'm going to highlight this and drag it down. Now, I don't know how many records I want, but I'm going to drag it down way past how many I think I will get. Whoops. Um, I'm trying to do my keyboard shortcut, but it wasn't working. I just wanted to add some borders everywhere. All right, now our formula is going to be, now remember, what are we doing? We're looking something up, all right? So we can just use a straight VLOOKUP, lookup one. So I'm going to come over here and do equals V lookup. The lookup value is going to be one cell to my left, relative cell reference, comma, the table array. Just like we did before, we need a sheet reference. So I click on this 
uh, sheet two, I'm going to highlight the first two cells and then control shift down arrow to highlight all the way down. You can see it start to emerge up there. That's our lookup table, but I need to F4 to lock it. Now I'm going to do comma two. That means I'm going to look something up and when I get a match, the first four, it's the second column that has the item that I need to bring over to list three, column index, comma, and I need an exact match and I'm going to put a zero and then double click and send it down. Now we get some NAs. In 2007, a great new function came in, if error, right? If error. Well, this is giving me either what I want or an error. I come to the end. There's the value, comma. The error, the item I want to put in the cell, if it's an error, is double quote. That double quote is a null text string that'll show a blank. It'll look like it's empty, but there's actually a null string over there. All right, so that's how to compare this second list to list one, uh, build a lookup column that gives us an indicator when we find an item that is not in list two, and then a formula to extract them over here. All right, see you next trick.